All right, so I have this little toy drone. The battery was dead, but I had one of these other LiPo batteries. So I took out the LiPo that was in it. It was only 150 milliamp hours. And then I replaced it with this one that I had just lying around. Um, and I think this is almost 700. So it's heavier, so it won't fly, but then I decided I could play around with it. So. Uh, electrical taped it to the, the quad itself and now I have it hanging by a little bit of uh, fishing line and it won't arm right away because of the fact that it's not quite hanging level so I'll do that so now it's armed away and now we're taking off and now we're having fun with little drones so that's full throttle and that's forward and then that's backwards. So what you can actually get is some kind of cool dynamics going on here. Though it does, it tends to hit the, the wire a little bit. But if you go into full throttle in one direction, you tend to get a, um, well now I'm gonna rotate it. And we can make some nice pendulum actions here. But we do hit the, uh, the fishing line every once in a while. Anyway, this is just a quick one stuff that you can do when you're bored and you have old, to old toys lying around. So I was thinking about 3D printing some bigger props to see if I could actually get it to fly, but I would really probably need a higher voltage and these LiPo batteries only come at 3.7 volts, so I can't change the voltage, but definitely get a lot more runtime out of it with this extra large battery. I've been running it for about 5 or 10 minutes now. So, anyway, that was just a quick video to show you what I was doing. And uh, this is Professor Sullivan signing off.